Um, hello, everyone. I'm Yong Hyun Lee, and today I'm going to present our work on a statistical manifold framework for point cloud data. This is a joint work with Sian Kim, Jinan Che, and my advisor, Frank Park. Uh, many machine learning problems involve data set where each data point is a point cloud. For example, a point cloud data can be used to represent a 3D shape of an object. A point cloud data is a set where all that matters is whether each element is in it or not, so the ordering of its elements is irrelevant. Uh, since a point cloud data are sets, not vectors, there are several challenges when it comes to data analysis. One example is the distance computation. When we want to compute the similarity between two point clouds, obviously we cannot use the Euclidean distance metric. Instead, we have to, some, we have to use some set, dis set distance metrics, and one example is the Hausdorff distance as shown in the slide. Um, however, the distance metric measures just one aspect of the point cloud data. Other applications may require more advanced geometric concepts and tools. Um, for example, we may want to measure like, how quickly the point cloud shape is changing in a moving point cloud. In other words, we may want to measure quantities such as the velocity and acceleration of a moving point cloud. Uh, the primary goal of our work is to formulate and quantify these concepts in a coordinate invariant and geometrically meaningful way. Um, what about the usual Euclidean way? Um, given a moving point cloud, bold x of t, uh, with the velocity x dot, uh, one naive way would be to sum over all the pointwise Euclidean norms. In the matrix representation large x, the Euclidean norm can be written as x dot transpose x dot. But the Euclidean norm does not capture the shape change in the point cloud. Uh, for the example shown in the slide, the, the two moving point clouds A and B have the same Euclidean norms, although in the case A, the shape change is much larger. Um, to address this issue in our work, we propose a statistical manifold framework. The core idea behind our approach is first to interpret a point cloud data as a set of samples from some underlying probability density function and by constructing one-to-one -one mapping, we, uh, we interpret the point cloud data space as a space of probability density functions, which is then given the structure of the statistical manifold. Then we use the Fisher information metric as a natural Riemannian metric for the statistical manifold. Then a new Riemannian norm can be defined as follows. Basically, the, the Riemannian norm uh, computes the norm of time derivative of the log probability density, uh, which captures the change in distribution. As a result, the proposed Riemannian norm can capture the shape change in the point cloud. Uh, so for the previous example, the Riemannian norm now, uh, now captures the shape change, and the case A and B have different norms, larger for the case A than B. We now introduce one application example, autoencoder. For cylinder con ellipsoid point cloud data, we train a point cloud to encoder with two dimensional latent space. Uh, and, and consider two cylinders, tall and fat ones. If we linearly interpolate these in the latent space, then uh, different shape objects, ellipsoids, suddenly appear in the middle of the interpolants. On the other hand, if we interpolate this by using our framework, by considering the Riemannian geometric structure of the manifold, uh, the tall cylinder is smoothly getting shorter and fatter and eventually transition to the fat cylinder. The other example also shows the similar result. Um, secondly, we show that our framework can be used to find a more discriminative representations. Um, for various settings from vanilla, noisy data, and semi-supervised learning, semi -supervised learning uh, our approach has shown uh, significantly improved transfer classification accuracy as well. There are a lot more interesting topics in the paper and also poster, so please feel free to come or uh, visit our poster session if you have questions. Thank you for listening.